Hi, North Elementary students. Nurse Stephanie here with another video. Um, if you remember the video that I posted earlier in the week, I did tell you that my next video, which is now, that I was going to have a super special friend with me, and I do. So this lovely young lady here with me today, her name is Sydney. You may have seen her around our school. Um, she started coming to me in the beginning of the school year, and she was working on what's called a capstone project. And some of you guys might be like, what in the heck is that? Sounds really hard. Um, well, it is. And what it is, is it's a project for the seniors at the high school to work on all year long. So when they get to the very end of their senior year and they're getting ready to go off to college and learn how to do their careers, they have a super cool project to present. So Sydney here is actually going to UMass Dartmouth in this September or August, um, and she's going to learn how to be a nurse. And I am really excited because that is where I went to school to learn how to be a nurse as well. So, and I also went to Somerset Berkeley High School where um, Sydney goes right now as well. So um, I'm super excited to have those things in common with her. And I know that she's gonna learn a lot about being a really good nurse. Um, so if you guys know, obviously, when you come into my office, one of the things that I tell you guys all the time is keep your hands clean, keep your nose clean, keep your eyes clean, don't touch your face. All the stuff that we're hearing a lot about right now because of the coronavirus, about staying healthy, keeping our healthy bodies, um, so Sydney is actually here today to talk to all of us about ways that we can work to make sure that right now our bodies are staying the healthiest that they can be. So I'm going to turn it over to Sydney so that way she can share her hard work with us. All right. Hello, everyone. Computer. And hit present. So today I'm going to talk about health and hygiene, which is super, super important right now because as we know, we're going through the coronavirus, so everyone's home and in quarantine, but these are some useful things that you can use inside your home and when you're out. So first we're going to talk about taking control. Following good personal hygiene is very important to keeping yourself and others healthy. Though you want to stay home from school, no one wants to be sick. So let's work together and we can learn the facts you need to stay happy and healthy. And remember that personal hygiene counts on you and no one else. So you have to do it. Hand washing, co covering your coughs and sneezes, and dental health. So first we're going to talk about hand washing. When should you wash your hands? After using the bathroom, before touching or eating food, after coughing, sneezing, or blowing your nose, after taking care of a sick person like mom, dad, or siblings, if you have to bring them food or help them out with some things, definitely wash your hands after that. Maybe you have to do some chores, so touching garbage, playing with your pet, definitely wash your hands then. And even if you're having a fun day outside, when you come home, make sure you wind down and wash your hands too. So how do you wash your hands? Start by wetting your hands in the water. Apply some soap to your palms. Rub your hands palm to palm. Get the vax in between your fingers. And then you can rinse your hands. Dry them with a towel, or if you're out in public, they have the hand dryers that will dry them as well. Cell phones are high-touch surfaces, which means they are very, very dirty. A lot of kids have iPads, iPhones, um, computers, game systems, which you play a lot, you touch a lot, they go places, which means they're very germy and high-touch surfaces. So this means that whenever you touch them, you want to wash them. Wash your hands, wash the controllers, everything. Um, then next we're going to talk about covering your coughs and sneezes. So what should you do to cover your coughs and sneezes? Use a tissue or your inner elbow to cover your mouth and your nose. And then after, use the tissue, throw it into the trash. And again, wash your hands. Make sure you stay nice and clean because you don't want to spread those germs. And lastly, I want to talk about dental health. So how to practice good dental health. First, you can get a piece of dental floss and wrap it loosely around your fingers, not too tight. And you can put the string in between, between each tooth and get all the food out before you wash. Then put a small amount of toothpaste onto your toothbrush and just a splash of water. And then you're gonna start brushing your teeth and make sure you get every single tooth all over. And a good tip for brushing your teeth is to play your favorite song, that way you know when to stop. And then lastly, you can rinse out your mouth with the water until you get all the toothpaste out. And I'm just gonna leave everyone with one final quote. 
If you take care of your body, your body will take care of you. So this is again, taking control. You want everything to be in your hands and you can keep yourself happy and healthy. Thank you guys. All right, I'm gonna turn it back over. Thank you, Sydney. That was awesome. You did a really good job on your presentation. <clears throat> I wish the students at North would have been able to see you give your presentation in person, but obviously, you know, with us not being able to be at school, we kind of have to do things from our homes right now. So here we are in our homes, but I'm so glad that you were still able to um, hang out with me and give your presentation for our North students. Um, and before we go, I just want to say thank you to every single person today that was along our parade route. Um, we had the best time. You guys were so energetic. You were singing and dancing and, and blowing kisses and waving and it really was so enjoyable. Um, and I know I talked earlier this week about that, but right now it's really hard to be away from the things that, that we love, our sports, our families, our friends, um, all the things that we enjoy doing. It's really hard to be away from that. Um, but when I saw all of you guys out there today, happy, healthy, safe with your families, that just reminds me that what we're doing right now by not kind of hanging all over our friends is kind of we're doing the right thing because we are all still happy and healthy and we're all doing really, really well. So that way when we are able to get back together again, I do look forward to getting lots of hugs from you guys. And I hope that you all will be able to tell me how to wash your hands because I know we've been talking about that a lot. So that's the end of my video for today. I wanna to thank Sydney one last time for coming in to say, um, to say hi to you guys and to share her really hard work with us. And um, congratulations on your graduation from high school and good luck at UMass Dartmouth in the fall. I think that you will do amazing. Bye guys. <laughs>